but there seems to be too much of a hold on uh, the older superstars. Are they getting pushed? Yes. Are they getting pushed enough? No. No, no. All right, and uh, feel free to leave any comments and discussion, uh, like, you know, read videos also, if you feel like it. Okay, next topic is uh, women's wrestling. Oh, this one. <laughs> All right, one thing I want to mention is uh, Awesome Kong, now Karma, on WWE, just stepped down because uh, she's pregnant, and she'll be uh, gone for about, like, a year or so, I would believe, which really sucks because, like, she just showed up. She did so, just show up. And I was really happy because... You know. And it also really sucks because people have been saying, since she's left TNA, you know, they knew it was inevitable now that she was going to get picked up. Her time in TNA... Look what she did in her time in TNA. Mm. Her and Gail Kim practically made a women's division. Mm -hmm. Awesome Kong ran, like, run shot over the entire division. She was so dominant. And then she comes to WWE, and you think of all this talent she can finally work with. And then it's she Beth Phoenix, especially. And they don't even get her to get one match in yeah. that wasn't probably a dark match. And it's a real shame because, I mean, now the mainstream audience of WWE isn't going to get to experience what she can bring to the table. And it's really going to hurt women's wrestling even more right now because the division is really dragging. Yeah. I mean, there's... Who are the champions now? Exactly. I mean, <laughs> on TNA half the time, I can't tell if the champion's Mickey James or Madison Rain. The only two people they tend to usually focus on. And oh. it's such useless crap. And, I mean... We're in the, you know, impact happened the first day of June, maybe? No. Yeah. It was pretty recently. Yeah. So it, it was the second. Impact Wrestling, yeah. Impact Wrestling, my mistake, was uh, June 2nd. So you guys know the date, so you can reference the episode. And the first 15 minutes of that show was ODB smacking around Velvet Sky, hometown hero, by the way. Yep. And... Calling her a whore and spanking her. Yeah. What and you... she also had a photo shoot in a bikini and choked her out with her own t-shirt or something. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like... I thought we were over this. Exactly. Yeah. Mickey, I mean, you know, Mickey James, Mass and Rain, they're doing good. Yeah. Angelina loves a good talent. Velvet Sky, she's a decent talent. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I do love her, but she, yeah. uh, you know, her skills are, they're okay, but they're not exactly what they... 100% should be yeah. and you know she's sitting there and they're making her sit there and get smacked around by ODB who's just coming back and just calling her a whore yeah um one thing I also don't really like about the angle on impact is uh um I think the winter and um Angelina Love angle is going on a little bit too far they got to either crank out something that's going to make it way interesting or just end it at some point. Because I really like Katie Lee. I think she's great. I, I really do as well. And I love Angelina Love as well. She's a yeah. good talent. And they have her walking like a stiff. And basically she's like the Incredible Hulk. You can't move her. Yeah. It, it's weird because, you know, um, I, I bet like a lot of... Uh, you know, the fans also think that, you know, this probably could have ended a few weeks ago, but it's still going on. It's starting to get stale. Kind of like the raw general manager thing. Yeah. It's like, you know, we're kind of... Soon Unveil gonna... somebody or get rid of the Mac. Yeah. We'll no offense. Uh -huh. But I mean, you know, I just don't think that's like the best angle to let uh, Winter start off with. I thought it was somewhat interesting at first when she uh, appeared on uh, TNA, back when it was TNA. But now it's just sort of, um, you know, I think, like, some fans are kind of getting, like, annoyed with that. So, um, uh, another thing I'm kind of mad at, I haven't really been paying attention to SmackDown, so you might have to correct me if I'm wrong. Like, the whole thing with, like, Natalia and how they're not really focusing on her. Two, three not, months ago, uh, she was on top of the division. Yeah. She was... With Lake Hull. Huge. And Lake Hull was a really good angle. Like, it actually got Lake, people to pay attention to the deep Lake Hull was good. Um, I, I'm i coming around to admitting it now. I, at first, I was like, this is a waste of time. All they're doing is being obnoxious high schoolers. But, you know, you realize now that they were actually really good as a team. They did their job properly. They brought made you hate them. And now, I find myself actually kind of missing them. 
Yeah. And look what we've been look what it's been replaced with. Instead of the tag team of Lay Cool, we are now stuck with the Bellas. <laughs> the worst of the worst, no talented female wrestlers in the WWE right now. Mm -hmm. I give Miss Tessmacher more credit than I give <laughs> the Bellas. She disappeared for a while and at least came back and has some, yeah. some skill. Yeah, yeah. She had some couple nice mat moves going with Angelina. But the Bellas have been gone for, like, you know, about that same amount of time. And they came back. I, I gotta say, it's somewhat improved. It is, but I can't imagine them getting the title over, like, um, you know, like Maurice. Or Melina, for example. And I know they haven't had enough TV time, and they're probably just trying to buffer up their characters, but I don't really find them that entertaining, the Bellas. It's just, as heels now, it's also very strange, because they don't really seem to talk smack that well. No, <laughs> the Bellas are the equivalent of grade schoolers. Um, I mean, the only thing they have going for them is that stupid little dance they do when they just shake their hips and just kind of... No, they have veils now. Oh, no. <laughs> and just, yeah, that's going for them, too, now. <laughs> so, I mean, come on, Bellas, really. Yeah. You, you're pretty bad. Just stop and give up the title. Right. It's better suited on a Natalia, Eve, or... Oh, yeah, Eve, especially. A Eve, Eve. Or Eve Beth some... Phoenix. Give it back to Beth Phoenix. Eve, I mean... I, I have to say, Eve has come a long way from She really being has. She is the new Trish Stratus for the fact that she came in knowing not barely a thing and flourished into something amazing. Yeah. Anyways. And she's pretty. And she's very pretty. pretty. <laughs> All right. Um, Christian heel turn happened. Jeez, last night because this is a recording this Saturday. Oh, boy. How long have we been waiting for this one? Oh I have God. literally yeah. almost been waiting for Christian to turn heel since he's come back. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. For all of you who may not have been paying attention back then, in about when well, Christian came back in about two thousand nine, yeah, two thousand ten, he came back on ECW. He came back on ECW, and you know he was still great and all, but before he came back, my God, his heel work in TNA was bar none some of the best heel work oh, yeah. I've seen in a long time. I mean, him, Tomko, and AJ were amazing. And, you know, Christian Christian has always been an amazing heel. He's like Randy Orton, who's kind of stuck where I've mentioned this to you earlier. Randy Orton is a phenomenal talent, will always be a phenomenal talent. But now he's kind of in that groove where, as a good guy, <clears throat> he's kind of getting stale and one-dimensional. And I really think he needs to go heel again as well soon because he doesn't have that same crazed mentality that he normally does since he's moved to SmackDown. Um, but Christian, phenomenal heel. And then, I mean, where him and Orton can only go, God knows how great these oh, matches yeah. are going to get. The uh, Over the Limit match, uh, that was probably like the only pay-per-view in a while that I've seen live. It was fantastic. If any of you have not seen it yet, look it up now. It's just counter after counter and like all these just it everything was just placed so perfectly well they paced it just right you know it wasn't too much like spot here spot here like after another and um it really did keep me on the edge of my stool because i was at hooters <laughs> so um, it wasn't the sick. thing is 